Okay, let me recording is back on. Right. Um, now this is again a classic type of question that people struggle with because it relies on a number of different concepts to answer it. The, the mathematics about it, the arithmetic is very, very straightforward on this. Um, this could easily be a non-calculator question, um, but the, the knowledge that you need to bring to it is what makes this quite difficult. Um, so for part A, um, you're told that it goes through these two points. Now it is no coincidence at all that these two points both have a Y value of five. So if I was to draw a sketch of this graph, the graph goes through zero five here and negative four five here. Okay, now it says axis of symmetry. This is a quadratic function. It's a quadratic function. Quadratic functions are symmetrical. If you know that those two points both have the Y value of five, then the line of symmetry must be halfway between them. So what is the value of that line of symmetry, the point that's half, the line that's halfway between those two points, midpoint. Now, crucially here, it's two worth two marks. And the reason it's worth two marks is it says, find the equation. Um, you will get two marks for that. One is for writing it as an equation. The other one is for writing it with the correct value in the equation. So that's what those two marks are for. Make sure you do both. Again, a common thing here, people work out what halfway between negative four and zero is and just write down that value. It's got to be an equation. You've got to have an equal sign in it and something on the other side of the equation as well. Okay, um, part B. Uh, we talk, we're going to talk a little bit more about command terms over the coming lessons. And we've got a command term here, write down. If you get a command term write down, that means there are no marks for working. It means basically that they don't expect you to do any written work for that. It means you can either write the value down directly or um, it's a calculation you do on your GDC with no need to demonstrate any working. Um, and it's only worth one mark and one mark is the value for C. Um, we'll look at some other questions where there are write down questions worth more than one mark. So I'll talk about those. Um, but it's worth, um, it's only worth one mark, it says the value of C. Um, so that's this point here, right? Um, the C on a quadratic um, is the same as the Y equals MX plus C. It's in a straight line. It's the Y intercept. Why is it the Y intercept? Well, let's just have a look. Uh, B says write down, this isn't part of the solution to B, it's, it's part of the explanation. We've got f of x is ax squared plus bx plus c, and we know that f of zero is therefore a times zero squared plus b times zero plus c. Okay, so zero squared is zero, so that's 0a plus 0b plus c, which is c. So f of 0 is c. That means that when you have x is 0, the y value of the graph is the same as c, the constant term at the end. So it works exactly the same. OK, c is where it gets a little bit tricky. Um, the y coordinate of the minimum point of the graph is 3. Find the values of a and b. Right, well, there's two things you can do here. First of all, you know that um, f of the minimum point is a times the minimum point squared plus b times the minimum plus c, and you know that that equals um, three. So you've worked out the minimum point because you know it's x value, you know this, from part A. You've worked out the X coordinate because the, the minimum point on the graph is on this line of symmetry. If the minimum point weren't on the line of symmetry, then it would have a reflection in the line of symmetry, which will be another minimum point. Um, so the minimum point must be on the line of symmetry because it doesn't have a mirror image. So when it says find the equation of the axis of symmetry, that's telling you the x coordinate here. And we know if we put that x coordinate in, we will get the value of three out because it tells you the y value is three. We also know that the line of symmetry 
is, and this is from your formula book, x is minus b upon 2a. You know that as well. So this will give you an equation because you know c, you know that from question b. Okay? So you know the minimum value here, the x value from part a, you know the value of c from part b. You can work out an equation using a and b with 3 in it. You can get another equation here using a and b with 3 in it because you know this from um, part a as well. This is the minimum value of x. You've therefore got two equations in a and b. You can solve those and that will give you um, your values for a and b. Um, a couple of things to say on there. It's worth three marks. One will be for the value of a, one will be for the value of b, and one will be for the method of this doing this. A suggestion, when you get the results for a, b, and c, plot your graph. Just make sure that it goes through the point negative four, five, the point zero, five, and that its minimum value is three. If you do that, you get that reassurance that you know you've got that question right and you can relax and uh, no, relax in the, safe in the knowledge you've got six marks. Okay, are there um, any questions on that? Okay, I'll 